Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. Before we get to the episode, I'll point out that Chad couldn't make it here for this, but we did want to release the name of our $100 gift card winner for our recent giveaway. Uh, that winner is Riley O'Brien. Uh, Chad and I wanted to do it live, but work got in the way, so this is what you get. Riley, we'll be reaching out to you to make arrangements to get you that gift card. We hope you enjoy, and remember that bourbon is for drinking. Welcome to the Bourbon Doctors. I'm Albert. This is Chad. Why are you pointing that way? Where There's am I no pointing? Chad over there. I'm Chad pointing this way. Okay. I don't know. Maybe you're over there. Maybe you're... Well, you just went like this. Like... <laughs> I mean, are I'm you in dabbing multiple now? dimensions. Like you want yeah. the young kids? Like, um, all right. New idea. New idea. We got a new idea. Chad's my got idea, a new idea. It's his idea. It's my idea, and here's the idea. And, and we're trying to stimulate some discussion here. And here's what you got. You're on death row, last meal, but you get three courses and you get three bourbons. Remember, these are the last three bourbons you're going to drink, the last food you're going to eat. You get a appetizer course which can be soup salad appetizer whatever you want a main course in the dessert. Italian and garden, you like soup, it soup sandwich and, and no uh, it's not unlimited you want unlimited breadsticks with your last food <laughs> i do yeah you want unlimited can breadsticks get, no you know what i want albert can have unlimited i want breadsticks. i want unlimited Those bourbon with terrible. my last meal the unlimited breadsticks yeah you can have unlimited bourbon but we're gonna do three courses i'm gonna start it out you want me to start yeah, you should start out i'm gonna start it out and i am gonna go my first course and I love it because it's tough. I didn't want to do a salad. There's not an appetizer that really Dude, floats me. But if you had said iceberg, like what are those those wedge wedge set? Oh my god! I, I just with extra ranch I, and I bacon. I just have to smack you right, like just, just lobster mm-hmm. bisque. One of the, oh, that really good lobster bisque like we had in Florida, and then Pappy Twenty Three is my first course. And I haven't had Pappy 23, but if I'm going to die, I want to try it. That's fair. And I don't know what it, it might be bad. I might be it like, might be. well, this is stupid, but I had it. I mean, there's I mean, there's different ways to go with this. Something to have before you die. There's exactly. maybe a whole other episode. Bourbons to drink before, before you die. Before you die. Bucket list bourbons. Yeah. Ooh, bucket list bourbons. We just yeah. came up with a new came episode. What are you go. having for your first course? So my first course, I, I really, I hate to like... To like steal your first course, to like copy your first course, but I have to tell you, like I, I am a huge fan of lobster bisque. Um, I can't think of a better way to start my ending than with some lobster bisque. I'm gonna be very specific and say I want my lobster bisque to come from the Four Corners restaurant in Tiverton, Rhode Island, because they make the best lobster bisque. I've ever had. And if you're watching this from Four Corners Restaurant in Tiverton, Rhode Island. I can't imagine. They might be. They might be. Like, subscribe. Tiverton, Rhode Island is like, it's that restaurant and a gas station, dude. It's it's nothing. Right. But you can get Christmas trees there, which is why I would go there every year. And you can get amazing lobster bisque. So I'm getting lobster bisque. And the way I did this is I didn't, I didn't pair my foods. I don't know if you're pairing your bourbon and your whiskey. That's a, like a thing. You can marry them. I'm not. I'm just going with my three favorites or yeah, three favorites today, right now. And for to start, I'm going to go with my FAE 02 from last year, Maker's Mark. With your lobster bisque. You're doing with my Mark lobster cookies. bisque. Okay. Uh, a little sweet wheat to go with my it's sweet lobster sweet. bisque. Yeah. Course two. Course two. This one was the simplest for me because I know exactly what I want. Mm. I want a 20 ounce tomahawk ribeye done medium rare. Fair. Oh. oh. Along with a loaded twice baked potato with the works in it. Just loaded up. And then some grilled asparagus with bacon, along with a full glass. I'm not talking a glass like this. I'm talking a real glass, a man's glass. Full glass of Booker's with an ice cube. Booker's, damn. Booker's Bardstown batch. I, I, can we just trade your t-shirt in for like an American flag and you can just be like, America, I'm getting a tomahawk steak, a potato, <laughs> damn right. and some bacon <laughs> on some kind of vegetable. Yeah. Why but would I you mean, just eat the vegetable? You gotta have bacon on it. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I'm, I guess, I guess. I, I am, I'm, the Booker's is a, a solid choice. Uh, yeah, I can. Full I glass can, with I can, ice cube. I can support I'm gonna it. I'm going to mellow it out just a touch. Okay, I, I, I can support that. Uh, 
crazy, but right. I, I'm going back to Rhode Island. Back back to Rhode Island. Go back to Manhattan. Um, I know this is weird, but like, like you think about, you know, I'm dying, right? I'm reflecting on my life and I'm thinking about some of my favorite meals and sa- favorite places. And I'm going back and I'm getting the seafood platter from Quito's in, I think it's in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. And it's one of these like fish market and restaurant, like side by side on the ocean, boats pull up. It's so fantastic. The food is amazing. There's always like a weight there. Um, and it, it's one What's of my- on the seafood platter? Oh, it is shrimp and scallops and clams and a like huge just chunk of, of cod. White fish or something? Yeah, it's a cod and it's, it's, yes, it's all deep fried and I don't care because I'm dying and it's all delicious. That's, that's what I'm going with my meal. Like my three bourbons, uh, you know, what right? Bourbon you have my this? bourbon. I think I'm just going Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Like really, C921. any of them would be fine. But the C921 was like I mean, a good one from last year. Taste. We just had it again today, so it's fresh on my mind. It does not. I don't think it's going to pair well at all with with seafood. No, it'll overwhelm it. But I don't. I'll I'll eat the seafood first. I'll finish with the bourbon. It will. I, that's how we're going. That's okay. And that's, hey, that's, this that's is it. not a competition. This is an expression. Yeah, that's true. And it's an expression of your opinion. It is not a competition. And I will, I will tell you that if I give this a day of thought, my my options may change. But it this may is, change, this is but what, this, this is, is right now, right now today, tonight, today. and here's where I'm going for dessert. dessert. Dessert, and it can be, you can't do a second main course, but I'm going to do a true dessert. And uh, I thought about this a lot. Here's what I want. Can I, can I pause? Big, go ahead. If you were gonna do a second main course, what would it be? Oh boy! Right, because why can't it be a four course meal? I know you could just keep going on. No, I'm not gonna do that. For, we, but, could, but, we could. That's a whole. Other right, that's a whole. Here's what I'm doing for dessert. Oh, fried Big chicken. slice of warm, gooey pecan pie, a la mode, with a chocolate chip cookie stuck in the middle. And drizzled with caramel sauce and chocolate sauce, along with a glass of Weller Antique 107. Wow, you really went... That is sweet and solid and so good right there. What? That is dessert. But, but like you put two bourbons from this, like Pappy and Weller. Interesting. I, I didn't really... I, not, I'm not judging. I'm just saying it's like an interesting... That those are like of the three. That's what you, you pulled what out too. People look at you and go, well, "That's interesting." They are judging. Oh, and <laughs> we've met, right? I'm judging twenty four seven. Yes, absolutely. Uh, like right. no, I just you let's think, hear like, your idea. All right, so I, I thought mine is a pretty damn good. Your idea. your idea is not go bad. with your idea. Uh, I don't like this. I don't. I don't like dessert that much. I, I yeah. sweets are okay, right? But I. Dessert. Uh-huh. I'm gonna bypass dessert. Okay. I'm going back to appetizer. Okay. Because there's there's always so there's for your always last thing before you die. You're having an appetizer. An appetizer. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have uh, the unlimited breadsticks from Olive Garden. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But this is probably just as crazy, right? I'm gonna have a nice slice of foie gras with a little pear on the side. I know. For those stupid, of you who don't know what foie gras is, it is duck liver. It's so delicious and creamy and good and salty and umami and like, yep, that's what I'm having. I, I live in Minnesota now. When do I get to have frog? Yeah, you never, really never, you never, never get, to get to have it now. So that's what I'm having before I die. And I'm going to pair it with my favorite bourbon of the last year, which is the Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery, Discovery Six. Six. I'm going to have some of that fruity aroma, the strawberry fields. I know yep. it sounds crazy, but I got it. It, it's just really of the last year, one of my favorite bourbons. It, it, it Again, this whole thing for me is a little bit of a journey, right? What are the places mm-hmm. that oh, I... Places. Going back to Rhode Island, because like I, I, there are parts of it that I love. There's a reflection of... This is what I would call it. This, this was is our, a reflection. Bardstown was our trip to Kentucky last yeah, year. Our, fir- our first trip to like the distilleries together. It was a great experience. It was a great bourbon. That's what I'm finishing with. So, all of, and, and this is us, but reflect on what you have lived and places you've been, and if you could go back and have that again, or that bourbon, and tell us in the comments, say, 
hey man, this is pretty cool because this stimulates some thought. And here's what I would do, or here's what I wouldn't do, or you're an idiot for having a steak, or you know, whatever it might be. You don't have to say that, but it wouldn't be the first us, time someone's called us idiots. Tell us what Let's you're be real. And it hopefully it stimulates some thought, some discussion. That's the whole purpose of this episode is to talk about what we think are great food and bourbon pairings. You don't necessarily have to be dying, but they don't necessarily it, have to be a good it, pairing. It makes it a makes it more interesting. It's always more interesting. I, I'm especially interested in hearing like so Chad kind of like where's your steak coming from, right? Like I had a place for all these things that I'm getting. Minus well, the I had to get around, a right? steak from any place would be Manny's Steakhouse in Minneapolis. Yeah, it's pretty that that's a pretty good place to get a steak. Yeah. Um so, you know, let us know also, are there places where you're getting your last meals? Yeah. Cuz that that's that, a good thought. Cuz you know what? I like to travel because and if we're somewhere and we can try something, it. I'll go hit it up. I'll go do it. Yeah. And like, subscribe, comment, keep, comment on Please this. Please comment. Is a, this is a great. This is thing all about you guys. For you to comment, you. we want to hear about it. And uh, bourbon is for drinking. Cheers, y'all.